welcome back guys I'm Vivek in last session I told you about various Linux operating systems available and which one you should go for so I recommend it to go for Ubuntu so you can download Ubuntu by going to the site www.ubuntu.com go to download click on desktop and this will take you to the download page you can either download from their servers or you can download through torrents as well. The minimum requirement is pretty less. It's required just to get 2 GHz dual core processor, 2 GB of system memory, 25 GB of free hard drive space, and a DVD drive or a USB port so that the installer may run on installer media. And you do require internet access, but it's not mandatory to have. Alright. I clicked on download it will take you to the download page here if you want you can donate some money for the Ubuntu development it's a community based operating system me and people like you help to grow and develop new features and new versions of Ubuntu operating systems if you don't want to do that just click on this node not now take me to the download as soon as you click on this this download will start. We'll pause the session as of now and I'll take you up to the point where the download is complete. So my download is complete and you can see the downloaded object is here. It's Ubuntu 16.04. That's the latest version we have. And now I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine on your local system and install Ubuntu on that. Click on create a new machine can either select typical or a custom anyone you want I'll go with typical click on the installer image option browse to the directory select the ISO image that we just downloaded click on open and you can choose to install the operating system later or just you can click on next you can personalize your Linux you can give name as student username student password as password password don't give just PAWSWRD it's not recommended but just for testing purpose I'm giving that click on next it automatically detects that it's Ubuntu 64 version, 64 bit version. All right. This is the location of the image file where the disk image will be stored. You can change that. I'll change it to something of my convenience and my choice. That is, I'll go to somewhere in I drive. Okay. I'll click on OK and the next you can store virtual disk as a single file or you can split into multiple files or uh, uh, let's do one thing let's give a name here Ubuntu demo so that all the files are under one particular directory then click on next you can customize the hardware as of now you can see the RAM dedicated is 1 GB my system is running on 8 GB RAM so I can increase the RAM capability to maybe 2 GB you can customize the way you want <coughs> you can change the memory you can change the processor allocated for this virtual machine you can attach images here you can tweak with NAT setting you can um, enable or disable USB and so on and so forth so let, let's leave it as the default ones click on finish it will boot the machine all right so if you're installing Ubuntu on your base operating system the process is same it if once it's boots from the device it will present you the same screen that you are seeing right now <coughs> all right let's just maximize the screen okay so my mouse is frozen click on alternate and control button and it becomes free 
it will take some time to boot it will load all the drivers it will go through entire uh, boot process and then it will present you some screen there you go so it's installing verify verifying the installation configuration so let the, let the process go I'll pause the recording as of now and we'll continue in some time you'll see that it's copying the files to complete the setup and then it will present you with some screen we'll see what it is the copying of files does take some time so have patience so copying a file is complete now it's installing subsystem file so while it installing various components of the operating system you can see the slideshow being presented here it, it shows what all features are available, available, what all new packages are made available, what are the new latest features in this operating system release. It's going to take a lot of time because it's showing that 13 out of 60 packages are being installed. So I'll pause the video and we'll resume once all 60 packages are installed. So it has installed all the packages uh, components uh, but it started downloading language packs so if you want to see the details what all things are happening in the background you can click on this small arrow and it will show you the progress here so let's wait so everything is installed and Ubuntu is getting started up So you remember while installing, we gave username as student and password as password. So it will log us in. And we can see that the Ubuntu is loaded here. So our Ubuntu is ready for us to use. Now there would be few updates available. Uh, it's recommended that you install these updates as and when it pops up because many of these packages gets obsolete. There are known vulnerabilities reported to the, to the developers and they fix that. Plus there are some bug fixes, up minor updates and all those things are getting released through these push updates. So it's highly recommended that you install these updates so this is it it's ubuntu is installed and it's ready for us to use thanks for watching this video tutorial we'll see further commands and basic stuffs in our next tutorial thanks for watching